Hey everybody, uh, today we're going to be talking about how to color correct footage in Adobe After Effects CS6. So, um, before we get started, there's a couple things I'd like to talk about uh, and get across. Um, first of all, uh, whenever you go to color correct, um, there's not one set way you should color correct or one set thing you should do. Uh, this all depends on what kind of look you're going for, what kind of feeling or emotion you're going for. <clears throat> so, you know, it uh, depending on your shot or what your your video or your film or whatever you're doing is about will depend on how you should probably color correct your footage. Uh, so you should really use this video um, more as uh, just, I guess, tips or like a guide, I guess, uh, to color correcting. And secondly, um, before you go to uh, color correct this, make sure that you're shooting your video or whatever in a flat image, like a flat style. So that means with like no preset uh, um, color correction or any um, filters on your camera or camcorder that you're using, shoot in a flat image. That way, um, when you go to color correct it and post, um, you really have full control over the look you want to achieve, basically. So once you have those two things um, done and you get your footage put in here into After Effects, you're ready to move on. So what we get taking a look at is just a clip that I took here. I'm going to drag it into a new composition here. And if we go ahead and play this, uh, it's basically uh, just some leaves blowing in the in the breeze, pretty much. So um, nothing too special there. Now I did shoot this in a flat image, so uh, what I mean by that, no preset contrast or brightness was done to it or any filters. This was just shot completely dull, raw footage. And uh, the first thing we're gonna be taking a look at is. Um, levels so we're gonna go up to effect and we're going to go to color correction and then we're gonna go down to levels okay and right here you're gonna see your histogram of your all your colors and stuff so basically what I like to do uh, is start from the left here and just adjust the slider slightly and you can see whenever we do that it actually uh, <coughs> increases the contrast and makes the image darker so I always kind of like to go with a darker feel. So whenever you do this, um, you just want to make sure that whatever uh, emotion you're trying to create or whatever feeling you're trying to create with whatever you filmed or whatever your movie's about, that you know your color correction kind of goes along with it. So uh, like I said before, kind of use this more of a guide. Uh, you know, this what I'm doing right now may not necessarily work for your particular shot. So or whatever your film's about. So, um, but yeah, you could just kind of play around with these. Um, I'm just going to show you the two main things that I use to color correct my footage. And uh, you don't have to do a whole lot. Like if I drag this to the left, obviously this is going to get brighter. So it's all about the feeling you would like to create. Um, I kind of like kind of like that right there. So, you know, you just get, really have to play around with it and find whatever you like best. So like now if we drag the red over. Um, it's going to get more blue, bluish, a bluish tint to it. So I kind of like that. Uh, we'll go over here. I never really mess with the, uh, the middle notch here too much with the red gamma. Um, see if we bring that way down, it gets really blue. So we'll leave that at 0 0.96. And uh, if we drag this, uh, drag this slider over red input, um, you notice we put some more red and pink into it. So uh, you can just mess around with all these channels. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time on this because uh, this is just a tutorial for you guys. But uh, really this. And uh, so we're going to leave it like that. And then we're going to go back up to effect, color correction, and go to curves. Levels and curves is really the two main things that uh, I really focus on the most when I go to color correct footage. You can pretty much do what you want with these two uh, effects. So... If we go into curves and just drag this up, you can see uh, that here, if we make, if we could bring this up on the color curves, we're going to get a little bit brighter. And then if we go to the middle and drag it down, it's going to increase the contrast again and uh, give us a little bit darker image. And we'll go back here and we'll bring this up again. So, I kind of like that. So, to me, that looks pretty good. Uh, so like that 
that to me looks good. Um, that's really all I would have to do for this particular shot to color correct it the way I want it. Because uh, I think that looks pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> now one thing you also could do is um, you could actually go to uh, go back up to effect, go to color correction, and then go to let's see, hue and saturation. And uh, now this is something that I really don't uh, play around with too much when I go as far as color correcting is concerned, uh, just because um, I just think that uh, the the color change that it does it, it really affects the whole picture, and it just in my opinion, it just doesn't work that well. So I'm not going to use it. I'm just pointing that out that you guys can use that. Just play around with those values. But really, in my opinion, the really the two things that you need that you can pretty much achieve almost any look is the levels and the curves. You can pretty much get almost any look you want out of these two effects. So um, like I said, it's mostly just playing around and seeing what works best for you guys. And... Um, whatever clip you have, whatever mood or feeling you're trying to create, that's really what correction, color correction is all about. And uh, so yeah, guys, this is just a basic video on uh, how to color correct footage, the main two things that I use and what I think are the best options to color correct. And uh, yeah, so that'll do it for this tutorial, guys. I <clears throat> uh, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I will see you guys later. Peace out.